Hey, look, guys, it's me. I'm in Minecraft. Look, here's me standing in Minecraft. Wow, isn't that crazy? Psych, it was a green screen. Look, I'm not actually in Minecraft. I'm in Minecraft. Make sure to subscribe for more cool effects and leave a like and comment and enjoy the video if you want. You don't have to. Let's start. Welcome back to the X Live server where today. You know what? Let's just cut to the time lapse. Yes, that's right. We're starting off today with some building, and I really wanted to finish one of these sort of, you know, like greenhouse type buildings we've got on either side of our base here. And I want it to go for like a really sort of nice little pathway through an overgrown sort of thing. And I think I pulled it off really well. But first, I had to actually make it look nice inside as it was looking pretty ugly. So I used some of the marble that we've got going on from the rest of the base, which I thought ended up looking pretty cool. It's kind of weird here, this bit you can see. That's because I'm kind of figuring out where I'm going to put the second floor of the art gallery and how it's going to look, etc. So that looks a bit weird at the moment. That'll be fixed in the future when we finish off the rest of the art gallery. As you can see, I added in some grass in here. I want to make it very nature -y. And I'm thinking of putting an animal in here. I'm not sure which one yet though. So let's go have a look in game after this because there's not that much space. I made it look very nice and overgrown as you can see here and I put in a load of flowers but I'm sure some animal would want to live in here. That's why those grates are on at the end there because they stop animals from escaping. But overall, I'm really happy with how this has turned out. Now when we cross over the bridge, we walk through the art gallery here and we come out into this section and look, I think it looks quite lovely. Look at it. That's the bit that's still a bit dodgy up there, so ignore that. But the rest of it, oof, oof. And these great things here, these stop animals from escaping. So hopefully we can get an animal in here. But I think I might have to go get a new animal. One that I've not got yet because we've got loads of pets for Geranimal Kingdom. But I want like a special one for in here. Maybe some turtles. I feel like turtles would do well in here. Also on my live stream yesterday, we filled up some of these tanks around here with fish. Although a lot of them have died now. Put a load in this fish tank at the end. Are there any in here? Yeah, look at them all. There should be a dolphin in here as well. We got the koi. Can't see the dolphin, but they've all got names as well. They're all like different versions of Jeremy, like Cody Ko Jeremy, because he's a cod. Jeremy of Japan, etc. For some reason, animals just don't like it in this water area. They just want to die constantly. Also, there's a load in the art gallery tank as well. You can see them all down there, chilling. But anyway, let's go see if we can find a turtle instantly. Look at him. There we go. Waystone's there. I found him here. Plop him down, give him a little name tag. Welcome, Tortoise Jeremy. I need to get him a friend as well. I can't just leave him here by himself. Here we go. There's a little babby one. Put this guy down here and we'll call him Tortoise Jeremy's mate, who's called Jeremy. There we go. So there we go. We've got two tortoises. They can chill in here. Hopefully they can't escape. We'll find out. But we're going to head to the church of Jeremy quickly. As recently, I've built this amazing building here for all our members. And it's been violated by Joey Graceffa. What has he done? This is... Ugh. Firstly, let's remove all these because it is disgusting, this behavior he's done here. And secondly, I think we need to get our own back. And we're going to get our own back with the chicken bomb. What is that, you may ask? You'll see. Firstly, we're going to need some chickens. Then, we've got a load of seeds here. Finally, we're going to need a lot of scaffolding. And let's put it somewhere he's going to notice. So, right in front of his house here, we're going to dig up with scaffolding really, really high. Like, seriously high. I think this should be high enough. Now, we're going to build out and make a platform. Five by five should do it. And now, we can put our chickens in here where they can't escape. And we'll just continue to breed them. And the idea is, right, that Joey knocks down that one bit of scaffolding the chickens are going to fall and then explode around him. So we're going to need a lot of chickens. We can breed some, but let's see if we can collect some as well. And the good thing about this is it's right next to Callum's base here, which we're going to be working on in a second. So we can just constantly go and breed the chickens. Plus, I'm pretty sure Whip's in the area working on Joey's castle as well. So him being there will load the chickens in. It's just a perfect plan right now. For once, I'm not going to be the one slaughtering the chickens. We're going to get Joey to slaughter them. And we're going to nickname them all as well. The reason this works as well is because chickens float down. Whereas other animals would just fall and die. And we've put a sign saying, Joey, break me for a surprise. Hopefully his render distance is lower than mine. Anyway, we're at Callum's house now because he requested a build from Diamond Designs. And he said, build something cool. And I'm not sure what... What that meant. So I quickly want to just finish these stairs on Callum's house. Here is a before and after. Yay. You can't tell the difference. I basically just added the bit of wood on the end. I've been wanting to do that for months. But now we have to build Callum something cool. And I thought 
There's a lot of space over in this area here. And rather than just build him something that looks nice, let's make something that he can change slash adapt in the future. And I think what would be perfect would be an art museum for him to sort of like fan art he gets in and stuff. I thought that'd be quite cool. So I'm gonna come up with a design and then we're probably gonna build it around this area somewhere. So while I was designing the art gallery for Callum, uh, Fwip or someone, I think it's Fwip, has built me this. I've been AFK for a while up here. <laughs> and this has appeared. What the heck is going on? It's very cute, but very confusing. But look, we got a lot of chickens now. So I think it's time to rename them all and then we'll get working on Callum's museum. So I have 64 name tags here with the name Jeremy on it. I'm just going to spam it down. We're probably not going to be able to get all of them, but we'll get a decent amount. I think Joey will get the message. There we go. A lot of them are now called Jeremy. We're going to leave this place and hopefully, oh gosh, the lag. Joey falls for this. Anyway, this bit right here, I think our museum will fit. Let's get building. So Callum has paid us 300 diamonds for this. I'm not sure how we're gonna be splitting this now because I'm doing this build and Fwip is working on the other one, which is Joey's Queen of Hearts castle. But I would say this is worth the 300 diamonds that Callum has paid us because I spent about five or six hours building this thing. It took me about two hours just to design it and then also build it in game. It took about four hours plus I had to collect a load of resources that I didn't have, etc. So I'm hoping Callum likes it because if not, I've just built this massive building in his area and it's going to be there to stay. But obviously we wanted to keep it kind of Callum themed. So I tried to use some orange colors where I could, as you can see for the windows here and the inside as well. I used some orange stripey wallpaper craft blocks, which I thought looked really quite nice to be honest with you. It was kind of tricky laying out the inside. You'll see in a second I add some like boards in for where he can put the art because there's quite a lot of windows in this thing. I maybe should have put so many windows on, but you know what? I added in this in the end and I think it actually worked out quite well. We also added a tree outside, did a bit of terraforming, added in some like little ponds and stuff. And I think it's a really nice addition to his area. So here it is in all its glory. I am super happy with this. I designed this all myself kind of just based it off like museums I'd seen in the past, etc. And I think it looks really quite nice. I even added a sign on the front saying CPK's Art Museum, which honestly, Callum, please change as it's terrible. But I connected this pathway up over here so you can just head down and look at that. It's quite big, isn't it? Like, it's pretty much the same size as his base, but of course it was 300 diamonds, so he was expecting something quite large, I presume. We've added in some flowers, etc., some rocks and stuff just to make the area around it look nice. And then inside, if we go here, you can see it's got like a sort of open top there, but I kind of wanted that because it brings in a lot of light. Uh, and then we've got a few tables and stuff around here, some lanterns on it, a globe, because why not? And I put in some paintings for him just as like temporary. But obviously it's for him to put his own fan art in from his subscribers, etc. So I didn't want to add in paintings for him, but there's plenty of space for him to add paintings in the future. But there's the 300 diamonds, so we'll probably work out how we're going to split those. If I'm going to get them all, etc. We'll find out. Fwip just keeps the one from Joey. But our next order is apparently from Lauren and apparently we can kill her as her payment. Also, I think there's 50 from Shubble. We need to split those. <gasps> oh my gosh, I haven't checked my shop in a while. We've got a lot of sales on way scrolls. We're out of backpacks. We're out of lassoes. We need to restock at some point. 49 diamonds, not bad. Now there's something I really want to craft. It's quite easy to make. I'm not sure if anyone on the server's done this yet, but let me know if they have. And that is this hand of fate here. And there's a few things we need to activate said hand of fate. The first one being a flint and steel, which we've got here. But we also need an antler and some raw venison. So we have to find a deer to kill. Oh, these are reindeer. Will this give me an antler? No, but there's the raw venison I need. Wait, apparently reindeer dropped them as well. I feel bad, but we got to murder them. There we go. We've got some. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just do this out here then. Wait, actually, we need a never what. All right, let's do it in the desert over here. Put this down. We light it. We then get our never warts. We sacrifice them. We sacrifice our antler and our raw venison. And look, there it is. Can I kill it? Oh. Is immortal during the daytime. Oh! oh my gosh. It's massive. Oh my gosh. It's dead. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. 
Oh, man. It's dead. I killed it. What the heck are these things? So now we have the skull, which apparently you can convert to wear. Let's put this on. Yes. <laughs> Look at that. That's so cool. Wait, let's go find Whip. He's online. Wait, Catherine's here. Let's see if we can scare her. She said that's scary. I think it's pretty cool. I don't think anyone else has got this yet. She called it scary. Let's see if Whip likes it. It's fitting. What does that mean? It's fitting. It's very you. Thank you. And speaking of being very me, Scott has opened up a shop on the server right here, which has got a load of outfits in it. It's called Scott's Sew and Stitch Boutique. We find an ATM so we can get some diamonds out. What is this? Eight Heart Clubhouse. It's a tiny little shack. What? Let's see if we can find any swag in Scott's shop. Does he have any prices anywhere? Oh, okay, here we go. All Disney hats are 12 diamonds. I guess that makes sense. They're quite expensive to get. Full outfits are 10 diamonds. Ooh, they're all kind of basic. I feel like my outfit already is a lot better than this. These skirts aren't hideous enough. I swear there's more hideous skirts. Let's have a look. All right, let's see if this one goes with our outfit a bit better. Yes, look at them flowers. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, we'll keep this for now. We've got a range of outfits building up over here. I really like my new hat, <laughs> though. It's, it's like no one else's. I don't think anyone else has got this yet. I got an insane achievement as well. Even deader? Oh, Smallish Beans has... <laughs> wait. Smallish Beans has reached the goal. Evil ritual. Now, I think it's time we worked on our maps again. And I think this room up here is where we are going to place them. We first need to make a staircase up to here and like sort out the floor and stuff. So that's what we're going to do now. Hopefully we can make this look decent. We're going to have to move these maps. It's going to be a pain. But let's do a time lapse. Our final time lapse of the day. I can't get over this head. It looks so funny. Take it away, lazy beans. So for the rest of the base, I've had to keep a very similar theme of this, like sort of overgrown with the mark the greens etc but this room sort of tucked away so i could do something slightly different so i went for a red theme because i really like these jasper blocks which i've used for the floor and i also used some dark oak wood here in like a stripy pattern some stripped some not stripped added in a red ceiling a load of lanterns and then it took forever to transfer all the maps across but we got there eventually now we have this staircase up unfortunately um, it's looking a bit empty over on these walls. I need to figure out what I'm going to do here because over everywhere else we've got, you know, like lots of texture, windows, etc. And big paintings. So I need to figure out what we're going to do on this one. But up here you can see all the maps looking very nice indeed. I put our cartographer table over here. I think I'm going to quickly get a chest. And in this chest I'm going to store some glass paints as we're going to need those to convert the maps. I'll probably put some maps in that one in the future. But speaking of the maps, it's time for an update. Oh, this is going to be such a pain. I've not done this in so long. All right, so we've got all 16 maps here. Now we have to, one, convert them, and two, order them all. Boom. There we go. Oh, look at the difference. Right, so let's see. This bit in front of the base here... Now, look at it. Look how much more detail there is in the base. Like, we barely had anything before. We have, like, the main bit there. But now, look at it all. Got all of that section and that section there. All this new stuff. The area that Fwip did. Dranimal Kingdom over there as well. You can see the animal heads. I don't think that was there before. Oh, no, it was. Never mind. It's a pretty big difference. The base is looking a lot more colourful now. I love it. So I think next time we're going to get working on Dranimal Kingdom. As I really want to start adding some more landmarks in here for sure. Let's quickly check in on Donkey Jeremy. It's been a while. He's trying to escape. Well, that's not Donkey Jeremy. Here he is. He's He's still fine and hopefully we'll be inducting in Megan next episode as well. I'm excited. I hope you guys are as well. My head looks so funny. Also, you might have noticed that I've got Never Star Armor now. I did that on stream the other day. Also, this thing, you can just plop down like that, but I prefer wearing it to be honest. Lovely. So let's quickly do some billboards. Starting with this very cute one here from Revolutionary Ice 5359. Very cute. I love the palace. I love putting the ones with the palace with the palace in the background. So cool. And although it's not the right size, I had to choose this one here from Rabbi Uwu because it's Animal Crossing themed and it's honestly adorable. I love it. So cool. So cool. Then we've got another one here from Desperate Voice 6020. Very, very cool. Like this one a lot. But our final billboard of the day is from Iren07 who made this one. Amazing. Jeremyism, I love it. I love it so much. Remember, if you want to submit a billboard, Reddit is the best place, and it's one high by two wide. So that's the perfect size there. 
But there you have it, guys. That's going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. Make sure to leave a like and comment and subscribe if you're new. And I shall see you another time. Goodbye. Oh my gosh, look at my teeth. Also, both my tortoises have either escaped or died.